Well, another early morning. What I'm going to get into today, I've got my metal detector and a couple few more things I'm going to load inside. But the outside's already packed. Now if I need to bug out, I, I'm ready to go. Oh, I'm tired. This medicine I've got to, uh, they found me some more medicine yesterday, so I got caught up on most of it. Uh, you know, when you get a certain age, you know, you've heard that term if you're old, well, you're at a certain age. I mean, it don't matter if a male or a female, but most women hear that more than men. Well, you're at a certain age. Yep, age is a number. You can sit your ass down and wait for death, or you can get your ass out and go do something. I used to watch a show waiting on God. Well, I, I, I'm too busy to wait on him. Let him wait on me. These are B B twelves. That I take two of them. They're five hundred, a thousand milligrams. I figure I need a couple of them to get started. At least for a few days till I get some energy back. And vitamin C can't have too much of that. And I take my malta vitamin. Oh, I could take, I need to take some fish oils. Don't give it. I don't know what my map, what my sugar level is, and I won't take that until I do my sugar level. Yeah, you get at a certain age. You're only limited by what you think you can do. You only limit what you think you can do. Uh, that's what's wrong with people. They go, oh, I'm 50, I can't do what I used to. Oh, I'm 60, oh, I'm 70, oh, I'm 80, I'm 90. My grandmother put in a five-acre garden when she was 103. She was 118. Of course, that's what they do on them Amish farms. And she still had the same Bible she wrote, they wrote down in when she was born. You see, that lasted her. That's how they used to keep records. They didn't keep them at the courthouse. <laughs> there wasn't no damn courthouse. <laughs> Maybe in Washington, D.C., but there wasn't no, was nowhere else. She remember the Civil War. She was 13 when she went through the Civil War. She backed down Contrail and the Raiders. Uh, 143, that's pretty dang good. I'll still take one. Uh, yeah, you, you're only limited in what you think you can do. Now, financial, yeah, you're limited what you can do fin when you're financially. But you ain't limited on your age. You can get out there and do whatever you think you're big enough to do. Like I said, the main thing on anything is keeping your energy up. Keeping your mind focused. Don't get depressed. Hell, there's plenty of that damn shit out there to get you depressed. You don't like having government's run. Well, hell, how much a change can you make of it? I ain't got the energy to change that shit. I'm just going with whatever they vote for. I vote and I'm done.
I used to work for the election board. I used to campaign for my favorite guy. I don't mean that shit no more. And I'll put in whoever the hell they want to anyway. I do my civic duty, I vote and I'm done. Got all that down. Guess that was my breakfast. Yeah, don't limit yourself by age. Now you can limit yourself by financial. You can limit yourself by your physical attributes. You know, if you got one arm, well, you just have to use the other. But don't limit yourself. Like Stephen Hawkins always said, couldn't stop his mind. Yeah, his body got slowed down and stopped. He couldn't stop his mind. And that's what I'm telling you. That's all you got in, in the end of the day is what you think you can do and what you want to do. So get out there and combine the two. And you'll have a better result. Uh, I'm a, like I said, I'm going to get out there and take a run and do some short traveling in it before I take off. About, I don't know, 1,500 miles, I'll take some short, 550 miles, 100 miles, a couple hundred miles, and then, but then take off. Drive it around a few days, load it up like that. Make sure everything's running right. Since I haven't got out of, got it out of the mechanic shop, or they can't even fix it, I can't eat any of them today, my sugar level will be outrageous. That's my M&M's. I buy big packages. I'm cutting another wisdom tooth over here. Cut that one through finally. Now I'm cutting this wisdom tooth over the opposite side, on the bottom. Uh, yes, I'm about half grown. That's what they say when you cut your wisdom teeth, you're half grown. Most cut people cut them in their 20s. Hell, here I am, 88, and cut the damn I guess it'd be the last one be right here. They said when you cut your last wisdom tooth, you're half grown. So I guess I'm going to live to be about 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 80, 16. I'll be about 100, 160 or some shit. <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. But um, I see so many people. Now, if you want to live off grid, go live off grid. Well, off-grid off means that you're trying, well, there's, I'll say levels, but the true off-grid person, person living in the outback or something, the person living in the, uh, uh, the high Sierra is like the old trappers used to do. That's off-grid, as bad as you can get. Away from civilization is off-grid. If you live in the city, oh, I live two miles out of town, and I'm off grid. I got me some solar panels and that. And I, to me, I don't know whether that's really off grid or not. Now, if I go up there in the high Sierras, I'm 56 miles to the next town, and there's 25 people in that town. It ain't a very big limit, and it's only it's more populated in, in ski season, season, ski season. Uh. I believe that's off grid. Now I've got a place halfway down the mountain, it's about 25 miles or so town. That's semi off grid. Then I got one about eight miles from town. They're still all, all of them de depend on the solar. Really. So, you know, I don't know which one we call off grid the worst. Look, let's see. I put the pups outside. The boys like to go out. But the parents are over on the divan, huddled up with one another. I guess the air conditioner got too cold for them last night. I've dug out some new t-shirts, see? I have a stack of clothes that I never wear, so I decided I'd dig. I've, I've been digging for 
that a queen size blow up mattress and I can't find it. I found the frame and it's loaded into, in the back of the pickup. But the blow up mattress is the ones I've got are too small. They're only twins. I want a full. So that's what I gotta do today. I gotta go buy one. I can't find one, the one in the house, so I'll have to buy another one. Because God knows it's where stuff is in this house. I better let you guys go. I know you got things to do yourselves. But that's what I got planned. At least it's loaded up. A couple of key things more on the inside I gotta straighten up and I throw in my metal detector and, and oh, my uh, I'm gonna put in my uh, what the propane the regulator in case I get a big tank instead of using them little ones. I guess that's about it. Stay tuned, you'll see me on the road before too long.